So friends, I want to go over all of the bino harnesses that I used this year. Give you kind of the pros and cons of what I saw with each one. Each one has something I liked and some things I didn't necessarily care for. None of them is the perfect pack, but whatever is perfect for you, that's what I'm going to try and help you decide here today. We have a Kefaro Stone Glacier, the new Vortex Glass Pack Pro, and then the Marsupial. I primarily used these three this year, and I'm going to start with my least favorite for me uh, was the Stone Glacier. I used it on a couple of hunts. The pros to it is it is tiny. It is the smallest, lightest pack of the bunch. It's very small, very compact. The things that made it to where it wasn't my favorite was the fact that it was so small and compact. Fitting your binoculars in and out of this was a little tight and even though I kept adjusting different things, you had to push them in and then to get them out, you can do it one-handed but it, it was just a little snug they didn't go in and slide in and out as well as i would like it does cover up and is full containment you can adjust it to whatever size binocular you're running i was running the vortex 10 by 42s with the arca swiss vinyl clamp on it that's what i was running this year and like i said they're a little tight if you have a more compact binocular this might work better for you. It is super light. The keeper system for both your binoculars and your rangefinder. They're very adjustable. Strap goes from here to your bino harness or your rangefinder. That was very nice. I could run it up and down this and fine tune it exactly where I wanted it on my harness. So that was the Stone Glacier. Pros, super lightweight, very compact. Cons, doesn't fit the bigger binoculars as well as I would like. The next one I ran was the Marsupial. This is a, a very nice pack. I liked how the binoculars slid in and out pretty easy. You can flip the cover all the way out of the way and run it like this if you're not in the brush makes it quick and easy to pull your glass out, put it back in, they basically dropped in. Very quiet, pulling them in and out with this system. The drawbacks that people don't like is the magnets in it. If you're not careful, it'll make noise when you close it, but the simple solution is uh, if you set it down nice and easy like this, no noise, um, and then most of the time when I was trying to be very quiet, I had it all the way open like this if I'm stocking in on something because I'm pulling my binoculars in and out frequently. So this is how I configured it anyway. Things that people complain about with the magnets is that it may mess up a compass, could mess up the compass on your phone. The solution to that is don't stick it right next to the magnets. The other thing I liked about the marsupial was their rangefinder pouch with the reverse closure on it. You can easily fold it out of the way and drop your rangefinder in there, pull it in and out, pretty quiet. It is kind of snug for some of the bigger range finders, but they, I believe they have a couple different size options. So just get the size that fits your range finder the best. Again, it does have the magnet, so you do have to be careful if you are closing it and you want it to be quiet, otherwise it clicks. The third pack I used, which I ended up using this all through rifle season in Idaho was the Glass Pack Pro from Vortex. Uh, they sent this out right before rifle season, so I ended up throwing it together and using it. This one has no magnets, if that's a concern for you. The things I really did like about this one was the harness system. It has this big mesh harness, which breathes very well. You can basically see through that mesh. The way this harness is built, I felt like it distributed the weight of the pack across my back much better than um, the marsupial or even the stone glacier. You can just kind of see how 
It's more uh, slim down, which makes it lighter. This one is just basically straps from the marsupial. So you just have these, even their padded straps are just not as substantial and didn't seem to distribute the weight as well as this Vortex did. I personally really like this style of, of harness system best. The things I didn't like about the harness system is <clears throat> these wings move your connection point from right next to the pack on the marsupial or stone glacier. They have the connection right next to the pack. It moves it back uh, about six inches or so from the pack, which when you're putting it on, so because it, its connection is back here, basically underneath your armpit, it makes it a little bit difficult to clip in. But once you clipped in, I feel like it distributes the weight more evenly across your lower back and less on your neck than some of the other ones did. Now, the other thing I liked about this one over the marsupial was the rangefinder pouch. It is got this super quiet fleecy liner that for this particular rangefinder, it slips in and out like almost completely silent. There's hardly any noise when you're pulling it in and out. The thing I didn't like is that it has the forward folding lid. And so that kind of, you have to kind of move it out of your way with one finger, grab your range finder and you're good to go. This is probably one of the more affordable options because it comes with everything here. It comes with your range finder pouch, um, the glass pack pouch, harness, a couple other things, also um, a lens cloth. All of it is included in the package where when you buy a marsupial or the stone glacier, you have to buy your range finder separately. Just something to think about. The other thing that I kind of had to change when using this is because I'm so sweaty when I do some heavy hikes. If I had the lens cloth stuff back here, it would get wet and is no good from my sweat. And that's just me being extra sweaty. So all I did was I pulled it out, it's still tethered. I shoved it into the side pouch like so. Put my wind indicator over top of it. And away you go. Uh, these side pouches are nice stretchy material. It's not, um, it's not a mesh. It keeps, it keeps everything clean, keeps debris out of it, and it's big enough to hold one of the bigger Windicator. I usually go for the smaller ones because they fit in these side pouches better, the smaller Windicator bottles. Somebody gave me this one, so I was using it, and it actually fit in here just as good as the smaller ones do. I also really like this front pouch. It seemed to be a little bit more stretchy than the marsupial front pouch and made it a little bit easier because I keep uh, tags, a external call, my chapstick, and my reeds all fit in that front pouch, no problem, where it was pretty tight in the marsupial. So those were the three main ones that I used this year. I'm going to go over the Kefaro. I didn't actually get to use it out in the field, but we're going to, we have it here, so we're going to run through it really quick kind of give you an overview you can get this one is set up with all the extras you can get with it we have a, a set of binoculars in it already i had did mess around with it earlier this year a little bit this front pouch is where you can keep your phone if you'd like. You can keep it in a couple of different configurations in here. If you're running around and you want it set up to where you can just glance down, look at it, see where, where you're headed, what direction you're headed. It's kind of a nice little feature. It also can tuck away and be secure, kind of out in front of everything. So you don't have to uh, worry about get, losing it or getting it sweaty if you again because I'm sweaty if I stick my phone in this 
pouch back here. Phone gets all sweaty and then you gotta wipe all the sweat off because it doesn't work when it's all, the face is all wet. So I never keep my phone here, just me. I always either keep it in my pocket or a lot of times I end up sliding it in with my binoculars like this. Although sometimes when I forget, pull it out and my phone falls down. The other nice thing about this pack is the way they designed it, they have a special spot for you to put your phone. If you don't want to run this extra pouch or, or buy the extra pouch, you can run your phone right here. When it's all folded away, you can hit record, slide it in there, and it's almost like an action chest camera if that's something you want to do. The other thing you can do is there's a way to stick your extra battery pack in here, run your cord up into this front pouch, and then you can be charging your mobile device while you're hiking around out in the woods if that's important to you as well. I tend to charge my phone at night and then I should have enough battery for the day of use with my phone. Let's check out the rangefinder pouch. Again, this is the rangefinder I've been using. Slides in pretty nice, pretty easy in out. And then this pack. It's a little stiff. I'm sure after use that would get more pliable and easier to do, but you can fold that all the way out of the way and then your rangefinder is easy in and out, one hand operation, so you don't have to stop, you don't have to set your weapon down to put your rangefinder away. Pretty handy there. Their harness has this slide on it, so it's not a fixed position, which should give you a little bit more comfort when you're wearing it so that as you move these are able to slide around and move with you. So just me personally, if I were to use this, I would probably get rid of this pouch just because that's not my style and run my phone here instead. And that also allows you to, if this pouch is not there, you can fold this all the way up underneath, get it out of the way. I really like having that ability. That was one thing I forgot to mention with the Vortex one, when you're wearing it, and you, you want to be in the ready position. This is kind of as far as that lid goes down. And when I would go to pull it out, it would catch on the, uh, on the focus knob. The easy solution for me was I just had to change the way I grabbed the binoculars. So rather than grabbing it here and just pulling straight out, I would slide my hand in here kind of cam it away and then pull it out. It's just one of those little nuances that once you start wearing it, you don't even notice that you're doing it anymore. But the first day or so, I kept pulling it out and it was like, oh, stuck, pull it out. A nice feature is when you can fold that top flap all the way out of the way and then your unrestricted in and out access to your glass. I really do like this spot for your phone. I would definitely use that quite a bit, just in and out, because I, I always pull my phone out, look at it, okay, this is where I'm going, slide her back in, away I go. I don't necessarily sit there and like follow my tracks all the time. Although if that's something you do, you may enjoy having it right here. I hope you enjoyed that overview of the bino harnesses that I used this year in the field. Please comment below on which feature intrigues you the most. Please like this video, subscribe for more. We are continuing to try and put out good content that will help you make better choices on your gear decisions and we'll catch you on the next one.